Howdy y'all and welcome back to another Longhorn Tactical Flashlight video. Today we're going to be looking at the Olight Warrior X4. The X4 is going to be the most recent iteration in Olight's long lineage of tactical lights, with it having a 2600 lumen output as well as a 689 yard throw. And so before we get into this video, I really want to encourage y'all to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel and it'll help you stay up to date on all things flashlight. And now let's go ahead and check out this tactical tool. I really hope that you enjoyed those bean shots and now let's take a quick look at what comes included with your purchase of the Warrior X4. First of course is going to be the Warrior X4 itself as well as its dedicated holster and pre-installed in it is going to be the Olight customized 21700 sized 5000 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery. As well as that you're going to have the recharging USB-C cord and then your paperwork over here as well. Now let's take a more close up look at the Olight Warrior X4. Up here the LED is going to be using is a high performance cool white colored LED and surrounding that is going to be a large polished reflector and then on top of that this is going to be kind of a strike bezel with these crenulations around here meaning that it can do some damage however it's not going to have any embedded glass breakers and it's not going to be near the crenulation of let's say the Olight Warrior X Pro. As this LED is going to be getting very hot because of its massive brightness it's going to be outputting, we have this nice four fin heat sink in between the LED and the handle so that way your hand doesn't get hot. And then right under the heat sink is going to be the USB-C recharging guard and if you were to unscrew it, it allows you to access the USB-C recharging port and below that is going to be the battery indicator light which activates whenever you turn on the flashlight and I have the key on screen now. The body of the X4 is going to have this nice knurling all around it and as well it comes pre-installed with this grip ring however if you were to unscrew the tail cap you can take this off however there are just two bare o-rings underneath it and so I wouldn't necessarily suggest it however it is removable. And then looking back here at the two stage tail switch this is going to be in a similar style to the Warrior Mini 3 with it being flush to the rest of the light meaning that it's pretty hard for metal shavings to get stuck into the body of the light and it's pretty easy to wipe clean. As well as that it's going to be compatible with MCC Olight chargers meaning that you can just slap the charging pad on here and it can charge that way as well in addition to the USB-C recharging and as well as that there's going to be a pressure pad that is compatible with the tail switch allowing you to operate it through this as well. And now really quickly I wanted to share some of my personal thoughts and opinions on the Olight Warrior X4. First off, I think this is going to be a very nice step up whenever it comes to Olight tactical lights. It's going to have USB-C recharging, which is going to be massive for Olight because they usually don't include that. And not only is it going to have this USB-C recharging port, it's going to keep the magnetic charging base, meaning that it's not going to really be sacrificing anything for an additional, more universal charging port. Like some other Olights, this can vibrate in order to tell you the battery percentage left. And as well as that, it has a color changing battery indicator light embedded in the light under the USB-C guard. And so it does have that redundancy, however I wish that the light was outside of this guard so that way I could constantly have something showing me the percentage, but that's just going to be a personal preference. In addition, I think that I would like a little bit more customization whenever it comes to the outputs of this light, as in regular mode you have a high and a low mode that you can switch between, and then in tactical mode you have a mid and a strobe you can switch between. And it's kind of hard to get between your regular and your tactical modes, or at least it's slow to get in between them. And so I wish that there's a little bit more customization because for a tactical light, I would I myself would want a high and a turbo right next to each other. However, the modes on this light are fine and a 1000 lumen mid is going to be probably more than enough light for just anything that you're doing. It has this matte finish that's almost like a powder coating that's super unique and it's probably going to be my favorite coating of almost any flashlight that I've held. 
Additionally, this is going to be a very good upgrade to the Warrior X3, as it's going to have brighter outputs, a new and better tail switch, the additional mode of mid and strobe, and longer run times. I'm surprised they're not marketing that more, but a lot of times whenever some flashlights will get an upgrade, it'll have brighter outputs, but you know, mediocre run times compared to the original. This is going to have better run times overall. And so there's nothing about this light that I can complain about whenever it just comes to specs. And lastly here, I'm really gonna like the beam shape. It's going to have that classic hybrid beam shape look with a little bit more of a focus center and a little bit wider of a spill. Meaning that that high candela can blind anyone that's coming at me and I can have my peripherals lit up for whenever I'm walking around. And then using the Olight Warrior X4 is going to be pretty straightforward with the dual stage tail switch. In the regular mode, if you were to half press the tail switch, it will go to its low output, and then by full pressing it, it will go to the high output. This light also has momentary on and off, so if you were to press and hold the low output, it will only stay on for as long as you're applying pressure, and the same goes for the high output. If you press and hold, it will only stay on for as long as you are applying pressure. The X4 also has a tactical mode, which you can access by first turning the light on, making sure that it's on on either of its outputs, and then with it being consistently on, unscrewing the tail cap until the light turns off. And then by screwing it back on, you will be in tactical mode. And in tactical mode, there are two outputs. By half pressing it, you will be in your mid output. And then by full pressing it, you will be in your strobe output. And in this mode, momentary on and off operates the same way. By holding whatever output you want, it will stay like that until you release pressure. And then if you want to return to regular mode, it's just the same method. All you have to do is turn the light on and then unscrew it until the light turns off. And then by screwing the tail cap back on, you will return to regular mode. And now for the specs of this light. In low mode, it will output 300 lumens for eight hours. The medium output is going to be 1000 lumens for 159 minutes. And then after that, it'll step down to 300 lumens for 20 minutes. And then on its high output, it'll have a brightness of 2,600 lumens for three minutes before stepping down to 1,000 lumens for 140 minutes. And then after that, it'll step down to 300 lumens for 20 minutes. And then at this 2,600 lumen output, it'll have a throw of 689 yards with a 99,310 candela intensity, meaning that this beam is going to be pretty focused and is an ideal tool for hunting, search and rescue, patrolling, camping, etc. The Warrior X4 is also going to be IPX8 waterproof and 2 meter impact resistant. I'll also have the dimensions and weight here on screen for you, with it being pretty dang compact, however it is going to be a little bit on the weightier side. Well guys, sadly that's going to have to wrap up this video on the Olight Warrior X4, probably one of my new favorite tactical flashlights coming from Olight. Again, I'd really appreciate it if you were to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video so that way you can see more like it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.